This week's Movement Monday exercise is one of my favorites. We're talking about front levers. I love front levers for a number of reasons. They can work your entire back. They can bring an insane amount of tension to your whole backside, but they don't put a lot of stress on your spine. But more importantly, they're a great tool for helping you learn how to use those muscles to begin with. We're sitting so much, we're backs are against chairs, stuff so much that we lose our neuromuscular connection and control with the muscles back there. So then when we start to do pull-ups and advanced back exercises, particularly with body weight training, we wonder why we have tendonitis in our lower, in our elbows, or we have poor lower back uh, stability and lower back pain when we're doing things like deadlifts, because just we don't turn on our back very well. When starting off with the levers, I find it's helpful to be one, is very proficient in rows or Australian pull-ups as some may call it, but two, also be very comfortable with just simply having a tucked position between like a set of dip bars. This gives you a feeling of where your arms are in relation to your body when it's in front of you, and you can practice getting up and back down out of the tucked position. From there, you can simply bring yourself down slowly under control, and maybe even pause a little bit at various points. The lever is an exercise that practices, for the large part, isometric shoulder extension, bringing, driving the arms down and back. But of course our arms are in place on a bar, so our arms don't move, the body does instead. So you can practice this a number of ways. You can come down slowly, you can pause, being mindful that when your spine is roughly parallel to the floor, that's when you're gonna have the greatest amount of resistance. You can also progress the levers, of course, by the extension element that I talk about in my upcoming book too, where you can extend your feet outwards. The further you extend out your legs, the more difficult this exercise is going to be. You can extend one leg at a time. You can kind of do a little bit of a running back and forth type of exercise. Also pay attention to the extension of your spine. Lots of times people practice a lot of levers and their spine is still hunched forward. If you really want to give yourself a challenge, Try and arch and straighten out your spine as much as you can and you're gonna find it to be a whole nother level of intensity. Lastly, you can also progress levers with the angle to gravity element. This is where you can start off high and then bring yourself down to a point where you can pause or you can just simply bring yourself all the way down under control for a quote unquote negative. Practicing the lever, I find that I get the most benefit from practicing it with high frequency almost every single day, doing a set or two, and really trying to hold for time. A lot of times it's tempting to practice the lever, get the legs out as far as we possibly can, hold for like two or three seconds and then come down. Then try it again, hold two or three seconds, and then come down. Instead, regress the leverage or the angle a little bit and see if you can hold the lever for a good 10, 15, hell, even 30 seconds to build up that practice and that tension control in the back so that way you can build more stability in your back, which is going to make your levers and all of your other pull exercises a heck of a lot more effective as well. So there you go, front levers. Let me know if you have any questions down below. Be fit, they're free.